Hey everybody, welcome to my booth. My name is Jay, and today we're gonna take a listen to a new microphone from Fifine, the Amplitank. Tank 3. It's a podcast mic, dynamic, with USB and XLR capability. Pretty cool. We'll give a listen to the Fifine and compare it blindly to a couple other broadcast microphones I've got, the Earthworks Ethos and Shure SM7B, just to give you points of reference and help you decide what you really think without uh, price tags or brand names attached to them. One small important thing to note, the uh, Earthworks Ethos is a condenser broadcast microphone, but it should give you another point of reference. Uh, so let's dig in and see what we think. All right, here we are on microphone A. This is microphone A and no post-processing. I'm about uh, oh, four fingers from the capsule, but uh, using it as a broadcast microphone pretty close on top of it. And what do you think about microphone A? Let's hop over to microphone B. And here we are on microphone B. This is microphone B, again, about four fingers away from the capsule, using it as a broadcast microphone, pretty close on top of it. And how do you feel about this one? Uh, I should note that I'm going to normalize everything so that it's at about the same loudness in post, but otherwise... No post-processing applied here. What do you feel about microphone B? And now let's opt to C. And here we are on microphone C. This is microphone C. How do you feel about this guy? Uh, give it a listen. And now we'll hop back to microphone A and run through them again. And here we are back on microphone A. Back on microphone A. Get this into your ears. How do you feel about it compared to the other two microphones? And uh, now let's hop to B again. And back on microphone B. How do we feel about this one? Uh, any differences you notice? Anything you like, you don't like? Get this into your ear before we hop again to microphone C. And here we are back on microphone C. And yeah, what do you think? Here we are. It's, it's here. It's here. It has arrived. And one last time back through them. Microphone A. Here we go. And one last time back on microphone A, and here we go with Winnie the Pooh. One day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And back on microphone B, one day, when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. And microphone C for the final time. One day when Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were all talking together, Christopher Robin finished the mouthful he was eating and said carelessly, I saw a heffalump today, Piglet. Microphone A was the Earthworks Ethos. And microphone B was the Sure SM7B. And microphone C, by process of elimination, the Fifine Tank 3. So, my thoughts on the Tank 3. Um, all in all, for an $89 dynamic mic, I think that it's pretty great. I think that it does a lot of the things that you'll want to do. It has really good uh, off-axis rejection. It's only really going to pick stuff up here. It's got pretty darn good Plosive rejection, particularly if you have halfway decent uh, mic technique, if you're talking across the mic, puppy poopa, puppy poopa. it uh, does a decent job at that. Uh, if Additionally, if you're on a budget and you want the flexibility of USB versus XLR, this having both is pretty great. Both of these knobs, they work really well. I'm using XLR right now, so I'm not showcasing them, but it also has the mute button here on the bottom that... If you're doing like conference calls, if you're using this for your work, Zoom type stuff, this could be a really great option, particularly because it has such great uh, off-axis rejection, which could just mean that you don't need a really quiet, well-treated space. The other super small thing that I enjoy, this yoke here that mounts to, the, um, to your mic stand or whatever you have, uh, it's flexible. So I can flip the microphone 
uh, in either orientation have the yoke either on the left or the right side. So if you're dealing with these dials, as an example, and you're left-handed and you prefer them on the left side, or if you're right-handed, obviously the opposite, uh, you can choose that, and that works just fine. So that's a nice little plus, I think, just ergonomically speaking. Um, as far as the sound goes, for 89 bucks, I think it does a really solid job for what it's going to need to do. It doesn't have any sort of really offensive frequencies to me. There's a little bit of sibilance that I hear, but again, that could just be my voice and how it rests. Uh, the downsides here, uh, compared to the SM7B is another dynamic microphone, this uh, the Tank 3 is a little bit more susceptible to uh, electromagnetic and uh, electrical wave interference. Most dynamic microphones, if you orient them in certain ways, they're not shielded against uh, certain electronic signals. As an example, if I tilt to this or orient it in a specific way where it's lined up with my computer monitor, for example, I'll get a little bit more of an electric hum in my signal, despite having uh, a pretty top level uh, signal chain down the line. So that means it's getting in on, in the microphone side. So higher quality microphones like the SM7B have uh, more robust shielding from that interference, which is a small thing to deal with depending on how you're using uh, the, the Tank 3. The other things that are a little challenging, the Ethos and the SM7B both have incredible handling abilities, meaning you can move the microphone around even as you're using it, and you're not going to get a lot of handling sound. This, that is not the case. It is echoey and resonant if you move it. As an example... It's like you're in a submarine or something. So all that means is that, practically speaking, you have to be careful not to touch this microphone or bump your mic stand or boom arm, which the other microphones do a much better job of handling that. But again, this is less than a quarter of the price of the other two. So if that's not a priority or you can deal with it, uh, that might be an easy way to work around it for yourself. And then the last thing that I'll say is... At the end of the day, is this up to snuff for voiceover, audiobook narration? And if so, what levels would you be playing at, I guess? Uh, and I think that, honestly speaking, if you want a dynamic microphone that has really great off-axis rejection, maybe you don't have the capacity to have a really isolated booth like mine here and you're living with a little bit more noise in your space, this could be a great option, especially for a starting microphone for you, and especially if you're looking for a dynamic microphone. Then I do think if you want to start moving into higher level stuff, uh, at a certain point you'll be pressured to invest in a condenser microphone of some sort, uh, but that can be down the line. So if you're starting out, this could be a great option for you, I think, especially if you want the flexibility of USB or XLR. Um, and you guys know my stance on USB generally, but uh, so what do you think? What were your thoughts and opinions on this microphone versus the others? Is it worth a quarter of the price of the others? Does it stack up? Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd be curious to hear what you think. And until the next one of these, be well, everybody, and I'll see you there. Toodles. <laughs>